Hey everyone, um, I'm back again with another video. This time um, we're going to keep talking about our work for week one, but now when you go uh, to fifth or sixth period, we're going to talk about subject verb agreement. So you saw I just picked, uh, in this case, period six, classwork. Uh, in my last video I talked about IXL. And this one I'm going to talk about the worksheets. So hopefully you've already done the bell ringer, you've already watched the video, uh, but you could do the IXL first or you could do the subject verb one first. It's up to you which one you want to do. Um, if you get stuck on one, try the other. So I noticed some people are having trouble with this assignment. Um, if you're on a Chromebook uh, like me, you want to open with something like Lumen PDF and then you'll be able to type on it. So I get this page when I open it up. It tells me to connect to Google Drive. I have to pick um, my JCPS email in just a second. And uh, earlier when I was trying it, it made me do this twice. Those of you who have used uh, and signed in with a JCPS email can know that it's a little bit annoying. So um, you just have to be kind of patient with it. Um, it might make you do it a couple times. Oh wait. It might work the first time. That's great. So once you get on there, you're going to be able to type on it. And hopefully if you're on your iPad, you should just be able to type right on there, open the little box like we've done all the time um, by opening up the PDF, hitting that pencil in the corner and typing on it. Remember, you're not opening it uh, like fully in Google Classroom. So if it says like Google Classroom at the top, you want to go back a step. So Putting your name on it is probably going to be the easiest thing. And the date, um, it is supposed to be due tomorrow, but since it is our first assignment and so many people are having trouble, if you need more time, that's okay. Right. So uh, let's look at this example, right? We're identifying the main subject and verb. So this says uh, every sentence has at least one main subject and one main verb. So here's our example. The old man bought a new robot dog, right? So to find the subject, we're going to look for the noun that's doing the action or being described. In this sentence, man is the main subject. He is old, but that's not part of the main subject, right? The sentence would be the same if you just said the man, right? So to find the main verb, you want to look for what the subject is doing. He bought something, so bought is the main verb. There are other words in the sentence which are not part of either the main subject or the main verb. Okay, we're really just focused on these two words. So a man, right, is our subject. Oh, can't highlight, let's try this. Um, man is our subject and bot is our verb. So that's all we're looking for. Some people kind of circled some things random, not really sure what happened, but that's all we're looking for. So you see in this first example, you're circling she and underlining put. So for every sentence, you should have one circle, one underline. So let's uh, look at this example. She, right, that's the person who did it, put, that's what she did, ice cubes in their lemonade. Right. And so if you remember what it said in the Mr. Morton video, right, first we're figuring out the who in the video, it was Mr. Morton. And then we're figuring out the what, what did they do? And in the video, Mr. Morton, he walked and he talked, right? So we're going to do the same thing for these examples. So let's do just one more on worksheet one. So this one says, Natalie screamed at the sight of the huge skunk. So who did it, it in the sentence? It was Natalie. So we're going to circle Natalie. And I know it's hard to circle on these things. It's OK if it doesn't look nice, as long as we can still tell. And then what did Natalie do? Uh, she screamed. So we're going to underline the word scream. That's all you have to do. Now, in some sentences, um, there might be more than one word that describes who did it, right? Uh, you know, in other sentences, there might be more than one dis word to describe what they did, but that's okay. You can always circle or underline more than one word, but you're really not circling or underlining that whole sentence. You're just looking for uh, the most important words, right? Who did it? 
what they did. So let's take a look at worksheet number two. It should be pretty similar to worksheet number one. You can still put your name and date at the top. But for this one, it gives you the two choices and you have to choose between them. So it's kind of like the IXL. On the IXL, you have like a whole sentence and you're trying to put it in order and you're doing the same kind of thing here. So this says blank blank us about music. And we know that Mr. Wilson's gonna go in the sentence. We know that teaches is gonna go in the sentence. So you're gonna take your typing tool. And we know that teaches isn't gonna come first in the sentence, right? It's not gonna be teaches Mr. Wilson us about music. That would be kind of weird. We wanna put who did it first. So it's gonna be Mr. Wilson. And then it's gonna be teaches because that's gonna be what makes the most sense. So the whole sentence is going to be Mr. Wilson teaches us about music, right? So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit um, for this one. I know this part was a little bit harder and some people had some strange answers uh, for what they put on worksheet number two, but you do need to type out the words or write out the words as best you can. Right, looking at number two, you're gonna do the same thing. Right, this says flu and he, and you're gonna put those words into the sentence so that it, it's right. Now, just a big hint, and I said this when we're doing the IXL, right? Usually when we're starting off a sentence, like we are number one, number two, number four, number five, we're looking for those capital letters to tell us what's the beginning of a sentence, right? Now, that's not gonna help you for, uh, number three or number six or number seven, right, because uh, it doesn't start at the beginning of a sentence, but you still want to think who did it first and then what they did second, right? At the bottom, it's going to be the same kind of thing as we did above. So, uh, oh, sorry, on the last page on worksheet one, so this one says the girls wore their hats, right? So, who did it? The girls did it. I'm okay if you circle just the word girls. You circle the girls. I'll take that answer as well. And then what did they do? They wore, right, their hats. So that's all I'm looking for for those. You should have one circle, one underline for each one, right? And um, hopefully that should be pretty easy to do. Your answers for, the, for number uh, one and 11 on this page should be right, right? And also for uh, number one is already done for you, but number two on this one, those answers should be right because I'm giving them to you. Do your best on the rest of them. Please ask me if you have any questions. Um, remember under the stream, I've posted a place where you can ask questions and this is where your classes are gonna meet and your office hours are gonna meet. So that would be the best place. Get in contact with me if you're still confused, if you still have questions, because you can always click that form and tell me if you want me to call you, email you, um, you know, uh, do a face-to-face a, a -face, like meeting like this with you. And I've been trying to make these videos because students asked for them and I said they needed help. And I'll happily record a video for you if you think that would help you understand the assignment. So let me know if you need anything. I'm just um, a message away. So hopefully this helps a bit. And uh, if you need a little bit more time to work on that, that's okay. You'll get new assignments starting on Monday, but if it's taking you a little bit longer this first week to finish this assignment, I'm not too worried about it. I'm still happy to give you a grade. Just check in with me before Friday, before tomorrow, so I can check with, in with you for attendance. So either send me a message, do your bell ringer or any other assignment, right? Those are ways that I know that you were here this week. All right, thank you guys so much. It was good to see you again. Hopefully I will see you soon.